Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacy, and I'm so happy to see you here today. If you are new to my channel, I am a nerd, weeb, world traveler, cat mom, lover of all animals, and I also love learning new things. And so the entire purpose of my channel is for me to broaden my horizons in the realm of music and listen to songs, bands, and artists I've never heard before. And we have been going down a whole Led Zeppelin path and I have been loving it so far. We've done a few reactions to Led Zeppelin and I've loved every single one of their songs. And so today we're going to be listening to a highly requested Led Zeppelin song called Immigrant Song. So just a little disclaimer before we begin, I am not a musically savvy person. I have never been educated with music, nor do I know a lot of music terminology. You, you, you're ruining the frame. Okay, he's found his spot at the top of my PC. Just a little disclaimer before we begin, I am not a musically savvy person. So if I say something that is not musically correct, please feel free to correct me in the comments. Uh, but just be nice. <laughs> please know I am on a musical journey to deepen uh, my relationship with music and discover so many new things about music that I've never known before. And I'm just learning so much while being on this journey. So thank you all for your patience and I hope you enjoy this video. So let's get into the reaction. Man, it's always a treat to listen to Led Zeppelin for the first time. I've just really enjoyed my journey uh, listening to them and discovering their music. So let's just dive in. Okay, I've heard this song. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I've heard this song. Oh my god, I didn't even know it was Led Zeppelin when I heard this. Okay, anybody who's seen Shrek knows this song is in Shrek. Well, I mean, not this exact song. I don't think it's like Led Zeppelin in it singing, if I can't remember. It's been so long since I've seen Shrek. But, oh my god, this is Led Zeppelin? I didn't even know this entire time. Okay, I I knew, I, I just had a feeling like at some point, like Led Zeppelin is such a massive band. Like, even though I've never heard a Led Zeppelin song, uh, you know, knowingly, I knew Led Zeppelin was a massive rock band. Um, my sister loves them. My dad loves them. Heard about them all the time. I was like, there is no way I have never not heard a Led Zeppelin song before. But Stairway to Heaven, you know, we listened to A Whole Lot of Love, like all those songs never heard them before this song yes i have heard it did not know it was led zeppelin singing but i've honestly only heard the beginning um from what i remember it's the ah uh, that part oh god it's the it's the it's it's the yelling note at the beginning that i recognize i don't think i've heard this song in its entirety but i do recognize that sort of yelling note that robert is doing at the be the beginning oh <laughs> I can't do it, but you know what I'm talking about uh, at the very beginning of the song. Very familiar. I'm excited to listen to this whole thing. So let's back it up and keep going. <laughs> wow. He's going really high with his voice in this song. Iconic. He wears the tightest pants. We are 
I really, really love this guitar that didn't, I mean, like, I, I just think it sounds so cool along with Robert's higher voice. Like, oh my God, this combination is awesome. And I see that this is one of their more shorter songs. Usually I'm used to listening to Led Zeppelin for like eight, nine minutes. And I see this song is only four minutes long. So I really have to like soak it all in. I'm loving this song though so far. I love the energy of it. It sounds so badass. <laughs> Those drums are going really hard too. Those drums, man. Wow, 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 as usual. So good. Even though Robert's voice is obviously incredible in this song, what really took it for me were those instrumentals. The guitar and drums sounded impeccable, especially as the song kept going. Obviously, an epic guitar solo, as usual. Hi, you, you, what's up? <laughs> um, and the drums keeping up with the guitar during the solo, like, honestly... I was kind of more focused on the drums and the guitar when that solo was happening. I was just, I, I was just captivated by the drums. Like I just loved the intensity that came from this song. It's such an interesting song. Like I've said before, every Led Zeppelin song is so different. They have such a wide variety of tunes and I can really appreciate it. Going from Immigrant Song to Stairway to Heaven to Whole Lot of Love, it's so different. And it's so cool to see the versatility of this band. It's such a testament to their talent. This song is iconic. <laughs> I, I have heard this song in passing before. Like I said, I heard it in Shrek and I'm sure I've heard it elsewhere, but it has been used in media. Did I know this was Led Zeppelin? Absolutely not. Did I know the immigrant song was that song that I recognize? Absolutely not. But I am so happy I finally know where it came from. It came from the legendary band Led Zeppelin. The vocals at the beginning, absolutely iconic. I mean, Robert with his attitude, he has such a distinct voice and a distinct way of singing that you automatically know it's Robert. It was so easy to put two and two together. As soon as I heard the first riffs of the song, I was like, hold on, like this sounds really familiar. And then once Robert came in with the vocals, I was like, 
Okay, case closed. I have definitely heard this before. So, but this still is a true first time reaction. I have never heard the song from beginning to end before. I've only heard snippets of it. And it's truly iconic. It's really cool. It's intense. It's fun. The riffs. Oh my God. Like, I think those riffs, I will be, I will be dreaming about them. Same with the drums. Just, just such amazing instrumentalists in this band. Seriously, just amazing how they can make such great music with just the four of them. The talent is just oozing off of them. They are just so unbelievable. And again, like I said before, I can really appreciate how multifaceted this band is. Seriously, no two songs of theirs sound the same. It's so incredible. I really love the chemistry in the band and I love watching videos like this that display that chemistry. It's just incredible how these four amazing, talented individuals can create such iconic music time and time again. It's because of their synergy, it's because of their chemistry. They are just on point all the time. They understand each other. And I love that. You can just tell this band is absolutely cohesive. Uh, no matter if the tune sounds different uh, the, between each song, they are cohesive. They are together as one unit. You know what I also really love about Led Zeppelin? And I'm going to try to say this as best as I can, but I love how chaotic yet controlled they are if that makes sense. You know, their sound is very energetic and sometimes it sounds chaotic. Um, but I love that. It, it brings a lot of energy to the performance. It lets the band members be creative on the fly, especially in their live performances. But they always reel it in and it's always perfect. It's always controlled. And uh, by the end of the song, you just feel like you've gone through an entire experience, uh, an experience of calm sometimes, an experience of chaos. But I don't know. It's just the way Led Zeppelin songs are composed. The composition always seems to have moments of chaos and moments of controlled uh, music. Um, and I love that. It's really cool to see their craft. I see kind of a pattern in Led Zeppelin music after listening to what, maybe a handful of songs. I, I have a lot of Led Zeppelin left to go through, but this is the pattern I'm seeing with some of their most popular songs. And, and it's really cool because you can see the creativity come out with uh, both sides of the coin, whether it's controlled or whether if it's a little bit more chaotic. I don't know if chaotic's even the best word to describe what I'm trying to say. If you guys know exactly what I'm trying to say, uh, please sound off in the comments. Uh, you might be able to help word this better than I can. This is just inherently what I've been feeling after listening to a several of their songs. So if you guys have a better vocabulary than I do, please, please help me out here. I was also saying this earlier that typically I'm used to hearing a Led Zeppelin song that is eight minutes long. This is actually the first time I'm hearing a song from Led Zeppelin that is a typical length of time to listen to a song. It was four minutes long and I was like kind of shocked by it. You know, with Led Zeppelin, it's always a journey listening to their songs. It's always a moment of just taking in the music that they are offering to us. And with this, it's still the same experience, but it's it kind of sucks because I want more. I'm like, I wish this song uh, lasted four more minutes. It's just I want more Led Zeppelin. So we're going to get more Led Zeppelin. More Led Zeppelin reactions are going to have to happen in the future because I just love going into a Led Zeppelin reaction not knowing what I'm going to get. I seriously do not know what I'm going to get with Led Zeppelin. They're so versatile. They're so... Uh, talented. And again, every song sounds totally different. I just find myself never really get tired of hearing Led Zeppelin. I just enjoy their music so much. And this song is not an exception. It's just beautifully composed. It's chaotic and controlled, has an iconic riff and also an iconic solo. Again, iconic vocals and those drums are just so powerful. I just loved, love, love the drums. They, they capture my attention immediately, especially during the solo. You know, it's interesting. The uh, solo is supposed to be 
about the guitar, you know, the guitar solo. We're supposed to be listening to that, but I just found my ear being more attracted to the drumming part of that song. It's It was quite interesting. One last point before I wrap up the video is I really enjoy the interaction and energy I see from the band in their live performances. Sure, it may not be perfect like the studio uh, version, but I just love seeing the chemistry and I love seeing how the band may improvise a little bit with the song. I don't know if that guitar solo was exactly like the guitar solo in the studio version. I don't know if Robert changed the lyrics a little bit. I don't know, but it's just really cool to see what the band decides to do with the song on the fly, uh, that they change and evolve their songs in the moments and how they want to. I think it shows a lot about the band and of course, I will listen to the studio version. But as someone who has not really experienced Led Zeppelin a lot, especially just knowing the band in general, seeing these live performances really adds something to the song. So it's it's really cool for me to see. I feel like I get closer to the band by watching them perform their craft. So yeah. So I think that will do for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this content, please be sure to like like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps growing content creators like me. If you guys are interested in some of my other content, please be sure to check out the links in the description box. If you guys are interested in seeing me live on Twitch, please be sure to check me out at twitch.tv slash StacyRPG, where you can see moments like this. Uh, I'm crying. <laughs> I'd like to know too. Let us the, situation. <laughs> the link to my Twitch is also in the description box. And one last big shout out to my patrons. Thank you guys so much for supporting my new channel. You guys are the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your generosity and support means the world to me. And so guys, I think that will do for today. Thank you all so much for watching. And also just a little note before I sign off, guys, I don't have a telegram. Please do not believe any of the comments that say I want to have a conversation with you on telegram or anything like that. I don't have a telegram. So many people have been messaging me saying, hey, I thought this was you. I sent this person $500 or something like that. It's not me. I don't have a telegram. Please do not message anybody with the name Stacy RPG on telegram. Didn't even know what telegram was until I started this channel. I just wanted to say that because I feel like a lot of people are getting affected by this scam. It's a scam. It's not me. Please don't reply to those messages. Anyway, guys, please stay safe out there and I hope you enjoyed this reaction. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.